Lynn Roach, Rob's wife, and this is my sister-in-law, Liza Roach, and we're in her kitchen today in East Greenwich to make a delicious strawberry rhubarb pie. And we've got a lot of chopping to do, so we're gonna get started. How many cups does it take of chopped strawberries in order to make your pie? Roughly four cups. Definitely close to four, if not a little bit more. And uh, as far as rhubarb goes, it's about three and a half cups rhubarb, roughly. And, and I try to, I do tend to go a little lighter on the rhubarb. So I, I start off with the rhubarb by trimming the ends. And these guys are very dirty. <laughs> rhubarb, I don't know, it just, it's really important to wash the stalks. Depending on the size, this one I'll probably cut into three slices. I don't like big chunks in my pie of rhubarb. I try to slice it thin. Not that thin, but this looks pretty thin, so. It's a nice cut. It's funny because um, Jay Howell, one of the... Kettle bottom master guide. Master guides. Yep, one of the master guides. This is his favorite, favorite pie. Really? And I usually make him a strawberry rhubarb pie every, every summer. I'm still waiting. He loves strawberry rhubarb pie. And he's like my worst critic. Like everyone that, that eats this has nothing but, oh my gosh, the crust, the filling, it's so good. And then Jay comes along and he's like, it's good. But what, Jay, what? What? I should candy coat the truth? I don't know, maybe the crust little flakier next time. Are you serious? Serious. Lynn, honey, you're taking this the wrong way. So, but, he, but he'll say to me, Lynn, it was perfect, it was wonderful, but just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and. Like your son, Ethan, who says, that's the best bite ever. <laughs> I know. Think of it as constructive criticism. All right, so we've got three cups here, roughly. And I'm gonna add this to the strawberries. We're gonna add half a cup of sugar, white sugar, half a cup of packed brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter cup of cornstarch, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. It's gonna thicken real fast. That cornstarch gets working right away. Looks yummy. Okay, so now we're gonna make our crust. We have two cups already in here of flour. We're gonna add one more cup, and that will make three cups of flour. We're gonna add two and a half teaspoons of sugar. Um, we have half a cup plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter. One you of know, my yeah. brother and my grandmother our hardcore oh, pie makers. hand crust oh, yeah, that's pie true. makers. They do not believe in the machine. <laughs> However, I do have to say your crust is phenomenal. Oh. I need a moment. But it is funny. There is an ongoing debate of whether, you know, <laughs> to use a mixer or to uh, hand roll your um, crust. Once you see that the, the dough is turned coarse and mealy, you're going to want to add some ice cold water. Once it, it almost, the whole thing will attach to the, the paddle piece and it will, that's when I know it's done. All right, let's see, let's get in close. If it doesn't get all incorporated, I, I'll do it with my hands. But um, yeah, this is perfect. My recipe generally, I, I like to refrigerate my dough. Um, I'll, I'll form it into a disc and put it in the refrigerator or freezer. Sometimes I make my, um, my crust first. Take Where'd you one. learn that trick? That's a nifty You know one. what? I, I don't know. <laughs> Also save 
the ends of our crust yes. because we make very special things with the ends of our crust in our family. What we do is we take it and we roll it out and we put lots of cinnamon, sugar, and a little bit of butter and roll it up and twist it up mm. and then bake that with our pie just for about 10 or 15 minutes till it gets golden. And those so are nice good. little cinnamon twists. And it's delightful. It is, and the kids love it. So it's sort of cinnamon, doughy delight. Well, it's definitely a 10 inch. <laughs> Depending on how you want it to look is, is how thick you're gonna make your the width of your strips. So Liza, is it true that you don't really like pie? The big thing is who makes the best apple pie and I refuse to eat it. But I will eat yours. <laughs> you complete me. Don't tell I the rest you. of the family. <laughs> so now we take a pastry brush and we lightly coat it with the egg wash. Very lightly, you don't want it too thick. What, we, what we're going to do is we're going to cook it at 400 for 20 minutes. And then we're going to lower the temperature to 350 for an hour. Oh, that just looks perfect. Okay, Lynn, you win. It is the best ever. Do I get some now? <laughs>